Join me today in Panama City Beach, Florida, as we take a look at the Blue Wave 2800 Pure Hybrid. In my opinion, one of the best family and fishing boats on the market. One of the things that's great about this vessel, and I love what they did here, Blue Wave created a boat that has a V-hull with good stepping on it, but also a shallow top. So this is very easy for your swim platform, jumping in and off the boat, as well as being able to get in with a 17 inch draft. This boat's gonna be able to get into any sandbar, anywhere you wanna go fish, up into the shallows. If you wanna go up into the rivers for those redfish, you're gonna have no problem getting up in there for this boat. The owner of this boat states that he goes into a foot of water, no problem. Really love the color combination on this vessel. You'll notice the dual step hull really provides excellent handling capability and really handles the chop extraordinarily well. That's the reason this boat can be a shallow hull while still being an offshore capable boat. Now the cool thing about this boat is it has the Suzuki 350 uh, DR on it. I've seen a lot of these boats with the Yamaha 425, but in my research, it's really only a few extra miles of top end and you're spending about $15,000 more for that motor. So in my opinion on this boat, this is absolutely perfect motor for you. Add the jack plate to really get into shallow water. One of the things I wanted to get a close up on is this wave grip. You know, a lot of times when you get a center console, especially one that's got a shallower draft that's built for your uh, shallow water, for getting in, up and in the bays and the flats, you don't have a nine foot two inch beam on those vessels. This boat does a great job of giving you a lot of room. You know, I've often said, if you wanna add a lot of space to a boat, don't go a foot bigger, go a foot wider. You can see how much room I have. Two full grown adults can fit on this cooler. There's a pad that goes on here. I think these guys have done a really good job of making a very, very comfortable roomy boat. People could even walk around me right here, no problem. How often do you see that on a smaller flats boat? Look at how much room you have on each side of this console. A nine foot, two inch beam gives you plenty of room while still having enough room for two full size adults in the cockpit. Just above the gunnels, Easy to grab your poles, right next to pole holders is a perfect knee height for your knee pad. Moving forward, you'll notice that you can really press your knees up against here for stability and for comfort. Great little rounded edges, easy to step up on, perfect fishing boat. One of the things that I thought might be a concern here was how this high step up here and high platform might be a little bit disconcerting when you're fishing, but you'll notice it has an excellent little tow wall, really gives you a good opportunity to put your foot against there, embrace yourself, also lets you know where you are on the boat. Look at this fish compartment. The great thing about this is there's a pump at the rear of the boat as well that pumps all of this out. So you can put all the fish in here you want, blood, guts, easy to rinse out, easy to clean out here. You'll notice the storage on this boat is absolutely exceptional. Everywhere you look, there's storage. Deep storage, fishing pole holders, five on both sides for this vessel. So you absolutely will have no problems keeping your poles in the storage compartments, out of the weather. If you're trailering your boat, I would recommend putting your poles down in here. Keep the bugs from hitting that fiberglass on your poles as well. With an aerator, get your pilchers in here, your shrimp, easy to reach down and grab one, throw them on the hook for your next cast. Love what they did there. It's absolutely fantastic. Now, in case you thought it might be difficult to get to that pump in there, one of the things I wanted to show you about this boat, we've got some stuff in here, but everything you need to get to, the access points for all of that plumbing is up in there. Very easy to get to. You don't have to contort yourself into any weird position. But look how much storage space is in there. Anything you need can fit in there. I think I could probably put my paddle board once it's uh, stowed away in its bag down in there. 
What a nice big space for a large anchor. Remember what I showed you. Look how easy it is to get to this live well. If you want to reach in here and grab a shrimp, right on your hook, boom, fishing pole holder right there. Easy to get to. Leave yourself a little slack. You're fishing again right where you wanted to fish. Blue Wave designed a boat that you do not have to keep walking back and forth to grab your shrimp or grab your pinfish or your pilchers all day long. Getting up and down these steps, if you're going to do it for four or five hours from 8 a.m. to noon, it's going to wear you out. You're going to be exhausted and tired. Blue Wave did a great job of keeping you right here with your trolling motor, with your shrimp all day long. All of this is super easy to get to. Your Boca switches, everything is easy access. Your spreader lights, everything up here is easy to get to. You got compartments up here as well. And this would be really nice to have some of your stuff that you don't want to get wet. You got charts up here, you got your VHF up here. Anything that you don't use every day, you need to stay dry. This is an excellent place for it right here. Even your passenger have an excellent place for their phone storage up top. A lot of boats don't think of that. Look at the little touches they did. Easy to access to take this windshield off. If you've ever owned a center console boat with a windshield, you know that that thing can be a nightmare to get off if you ever want to clean the whole thing, get behind there to get all that mildew, leaves that get behind there. If you have any of those types of issues, this boat solves that problem. This thing is really easy with just some little hand tightened twisties to get that off of there. Super ingenious little idea. One of the things we all know about is how uncomfortable sometimes these can be. If the padding is not strong enough or sturdy enough, you get in here and you start to feel those after a long day. If you're out on this boat and you're just chilling at the sandbar, relaxing right here, I do not feel those braces at all in the back of my thigh or in my butt. They've done a really good job of putting enough padding in this seat so that you don't feel those. Even with your bolster flipped up, leaning back against this seat, you can still reach all of these uh, buttons, all of these gauges, everything really simply. I mean, this thing does tilt, but I wouldn't need it. This thing is so perfectly designed, such a perfect little situation you've got here. I can reach everything I need without moving around, without having to jump up and reach for it. This is a really good layout of this boat. This boat has electric hydraulic steering for super smooth steering. Super easy to manage, easy to back in of, along with that contra-rotating prop, easy to maneuver around marinas, docks, vessels, anything you need to get around in a shallow channel, a narrow channel. You'll also notice the dual Simrad 12-inch Evo 35s on this vessel. You have down and side as well. So this is going to be able to find any fish you want. Now check this out. If you're like me and you trailer your boat and you go different spots and it's not always in the same spot, how cool is this? Dual gas ports on both sides. Very, very smart, very thoughtful. Again, going back to storage, you can have a full head in here. This is not like a little jet boat, Yamaha, anything like that. This is a real roomy, spacious space in here. If you're not going to use it as a head, think of how much storage we could have in here. Think of how much stuff you could have in this box. This is not just a little kid's seat. I know a lot of the boats that try to do something like this, they've got a little flip up seat. It's cheesy, it's light, it's small, it's tiny. You don't get any thigh support. This is a full grown seat for two full grown adults. Two people can sit back here comfortably and relax. One of the things I absolutely love about this boat is when you're fishing off the back deck here, the platform, if you need to grab something, it is so easy just to reach around Get down to your Plano boxes, grab whatever you need. You got a drawer here. I've seen people use this as a cooler actually, but anything you need here, if you've got big lures, if you've got big heavy duty lines, uh, if you've got rigs already rigged up, look at this, you can wrap them right up there, easy to get to, they don't get tangled up, they're not gonna get tightened up. 
and you're right here fishing again, no problem. One of the things I really love about this boat is if you're fishing all day, if you've got shrimp scales, if you've got fish scales, if you've got blood and guts everywhere, in this boat it's going to all get captured back in the back of this area here. You're not going to be walking in it, stepping in it, dealing with it. You'll notice there's a perfect little lip right there that kind of holds it all in. So this will allow all of that stuff to flush back here. you got a little rinse down, rinse it down. Everything stays back here in this compartment under this perfect rear jump seat right here. Dual 35 gallon live wells back here. Plenty of room. You've got three live wells on this boat, two 35s and a 10 at all edges of the boat, anywhere you might be fishing. So you could have your pinfish somewhere, you could have your pilchers in one side, you can have your shrimp up front, go out all day, no problem. Another thing I love they've done is they've put all of your components down here in this box. So you're not having to deal with a lot of your stuff in your little transom area in the back. Everything is right here, nice and tucked away. Look how clean this is. One thing to keep an eye on is if you find one of these boats and you want a steering tower up top, this boat can come with that as an option. You have to get it from the factory. However, it is available. The owner of this boat went with the dual power poles. Man, I got to imagine you could fish all day with this boat. Going back to the three live wells, just want to touch base on that again because it's so amazing. If you've got the two power poles, if you've got the three live wells in different sections of the boat, you've got the extended arm Minn Kota trolling motor, I don't see how you could have anything better for fishing flats, getting out into the open water, uh, I think you could handle probably three or four feet of chop, no problem in this boat. It's the best of both worlds. It really is when you're talking about fishing inland, a little offshore, but also it's one of the best family boats as well. Remember what we're going for here, the combination of family and fishing vessel. These two post holes make the backrest along with a snap-in seating pad, which works perfectly for your front jump seats for family and friends. All right, all in all to review, 17-inch draft with plenty of knee wall. That's a very rare combination in a boat that can be a flats boat and a bay boat. Dual step hull, uh, V hull handles some chop. The 350 that's on this, the Suzuki 350, is absolutely all the motor you need. I've seen a lot of these that also have the Yamaha 425 on it. You're talking about a few miles per hour higher top end, maybe a smidge quicker out of the hole, but $15,000 more? I don't see the point. I think it's ridiculous. This boat is set up exactly the way one like it should be. It is a great family boat with the jump seats, with the rear seat, plenty of room around the uh, tower. I think this is an absolutely fantastic boat. This boat is for sale. Uh, the listing is underneath. We've, we're going to put a link to it underneath, the owner of this boat. If you don't see this part of the video, and the, we've cut that out, the boat has been sold. Uh, please give us a call, Roy Bragg, 850-591-7581. We'll be glad to point you in the right direction on any boat needs you have. Thank you very much for watching.